I wanted to talk uh, a little bit about uniforms or painting things in uniform, what color schemes you use or not uh, in, a, in an army. It's just my personal thoughts. Uh, so this is not a video about painting anything. It's just some thoughts I've been having. It's not really like if you're into really painting things the way they are supposed to be painted. Like if, you, if you're painting Age of Sigmar and you want it to look exactly like on the box, or if you're playing historical games where things are supposed to be just the way they are. Like if you've got American World War II soldiers, you're not going to probably paint them pink. Now you could, but you know, it might not be what you're into. Or, you know, pink Darth Vader. Or if, if you're into doing it exactly correctly the way things are supposed to be, then this video is probably not for you. What I'm going to talk about is, um, like, I have my, so far, my, my army of uh, Stormcast Eternals in front of me here, and um, can have a look, they're all here. And I went with the uh, blue turquoise and uh, red-ish color scheme. And when I was finished, I was sort of like, I should have not stuck as much as I have to my color scheme. Because looking at it like this, they pretty much all look the same. I know that you might like that. I find it a bit boring. I could definitely have tried to make a bigger difference, at least between the different type of units. I did it, do it a little bit, um, say with these, the guys with the strange crossbows. I did more gold compared to these, which had the, the blue shoulder pads and these had more gold shoulder pads. Some have got blue helmets, some have got golden helmets. This guy's got pink hair, this girl has got blue hair. I tried to vary, but I feel like I didn't vary it enough, which is just something I realize now when I'm done. So that's why I want to talk about it. In case you're starting from the beginning and you're thinking you want to do your own color scheme, then, you know, find a color scheme you like, but also try maybe to figure out ways to vary it. I wouldn't have minded if you know some of the units were all red or all blue or all golden or really go out there and maybe go like the well the crossbow guys they're they're going to be a green metal instead of gold or whatever just to get you know because when i see the whole army in front of me and it's not really a big army but it's an army apparently i would have wanted a bit more of a difference if we have a look at my night haunt army that i've it's not all of them i haven't finished all of them yet and there's still a bunch of the small uh, horde fellas left and some other bits and pieces. I noticed the first batch I painted, um, I did these these coats pretty much all the same shade. And I realized like when I saw them in a bunch, I was like, this is going to look really boring if I do exactly the same thing on all of them. So I started to change. See, this one over here is a bit gray. This one's a bit green. Uh, this one's got a bit of red going, red-ish. Same with this one, it's a bit of a red. And then when I started with the, the big ones, I made this one completely black, this one a bit of blue. And I realized that all these details, like the smoke and stuff, if I could make them pop as much as possible, then that would also just, in a whole, look a lot, a lot more interesting. You know, just these things that pop out, the red bloody axe and the, the white, um, ghosts, the smoke over here, the ghostly stuff. It just makes the whole thing come alive all that much more. I could probably exaggerate it even more. Um, but you know, ghosts are ghosts. That was just the thing I wanted to talk about. In case you, you're doing what I did, if you buy an entire army and paint it all at once, uh, like you buy the Soul Wars box, if you're starting out um, and you go, you, you know, you're painting one or five at a time and then all of a sudden they're all done and they all look the same. If you like that, great. Um, if you're a bit more like me, then, you know, have a think about how you can vary things even more. I mean, for me, it's for one thing I want to be able to tell things apart, you know, oh, that's this unit, that's that unit, things like that. But also just, you know, what, what does it look like in a bunch? Is it fun to look at or is it just one, you know, you put all this energy into painting and all the time into painting all the details, but when you look at it from afar, then it's just, you can probably exaggerate more if you want. That was just my random thoughts. 
of uniform, not uniform. Obviously, if you're playing Star Wars and you've got your stormtroopers, they would probably be white, of course. But if you're going more for this kind of a thing and you want to just paint your own color scheme, just have it. Extra think if you can vary things more, especially from unit to unit. Now please, as always, like, subscribe, all of that. Uh, you can, if you want to see more detailed pictures of the miniatures, you can check out uh, my Instagram, 52 miniatures. Should be the same as the YouTube channel, I hope, if I spelt it right on Instagram. And uh, thanks, bye.